Disease threats, uh, especially with calf health, change as they get older. Uh, you know, kind of the neonatal period, which we consider about the first 30 days of life, is really when we battle some of the septicemia, some of our, our scours, some of these critical things that happen early in life. And scours is kind of the main one early. Okay, and there are several different pathogens that can actually contribute to calf scours. It's, it's good to understand that scours, the pathogens that cause it, they naturally circulate within our herds. Okay, so they aren't foreign invaders. Uh, they're naturally found there, but they do build up over time. And what we really try to do is to manage the amount of pathogen in the environment by trying to have calves calve in a clean environment and also separating calf by age. Okay, one thing that we found out is older calves that are born earlier in the calving season, they will pick up small amounts of these pathogens, but they will, they'll act as amplifiers. They amplify these pathogens and start shedding them in very high numbers within the environment. Uh, so two critical stages to be able to control calf scours, regardless of how you do it, every operation is a little bit different, but understanding that if we can move animals, they calve in a, in a relatively clean environment that is uh, pathogen free as much as we can, and realize the pathogens are shed through manure and urine, okay? Uh, so where cattle congregate, uh, that's where they feed, where they drink, and where they rest. If we can modify and change those locations through a pasture or paddock, uh, we can greatly reduce the amount of pathogen load in that area. So the solution to pollution is dilution, and that's really the critical stage of controlling calf scours, is really spreading that out over a much larger area so we don't have the buildup whenever those cat newborn calves hit the ground. Now the second half of that is amplification. I mentioned the older calves amplify the pathogens. If we can separate calf by age by any means necessary, even if we calve for um, you know maybe the first two to three weeks, and if we can separate those older calves from the ones that are just calving, even that can be a critical management uh, stage to help limit and reduce the pathogen load during the calving season. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, consider subscribing to our Angus TV YouTube channel. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button, and when you see a little bell, click that too. Then we'll send you a notification every time we post a video. You'll learn about industry updates, Angus education, and how to become profitable with the business breed. We'll see you on the next video.